Hello everyone, welcome to day 9th of February Lead Code Challenge and today's question is convert BST to a greater tree. Uh, as the question says, you are given a BST and you need to perform some modification on all the elements of that tree and generate a greater tree. Uh, what kind of modification are we looking for? Uh, the original value of the key is changed to the original value plus all the keys that are greater in the BST than the original value. So, seems like a pretty easy question, not very complicated. Uh, let's also uh, walk through uh, the example that is specified in the question. Uh, so, with this, for this 8, uh, there is no key that is greater than uh, in the complete BST. Uh, the value will remain the same as 8. For this 7, uh, there is a, the 8 is the value which is greater than uh, 7 and hence uh, the new value becomes 15. For 6, uh, in totality, uh, we have 7 plus 8, 15 as greater value. So, the new value becomes 15 plus 6, 21. For this 5, uh, what is what are the nodes that are greater than 5? 6, 7 and 8. What is the sum of this? The sum of this is 6 plus 7 plus 8 is 21. 21 plus 5 is 26. And, the, the five, and this node gets a new value as 26. For this node, what are the nodes that are out of a greater value? 6, 5, 7, 8. What is the sum of these 6? The, all, all of these, it's 26. Uh, what is the current node? Current node is 4. The new value becomes 30. And similarly for the rest of the tree, uh, left part of the tree as well. So let's quickly walk through the algorithm that I have devised for this. So let's understand the properties of a BST. In a BST, every node that on its right is greater than the current, val current value. So all the nodes that are on its right have a higher value than the current node and all the values on its left are of a lower value than the current node. So the, this, these are the two properties of a BST and we will be using uh, these properties to come up with a solution. So let's look at a full-fledged example and understand the cases. Uh, it's exactly the same uh, example that was quoted in the question. And let's start the iteration in a right, uh, in a right, uh, the node itself, and then left reverse in order traversal. So we'll be doing a reverse in order traversal, and let's iterate through it. Since all the nodes on its right are of higher value than the current node. Therefore, we have to do a reverse in order traversal. So, when it's, when I say reverse in order traversal, let's start the iteration. So, you are at this node and you go to its right, then again right, then again right. And at this point, there are no nodes that are present in the tree. Uh, therefore, we need to return 8. So, 8 gets, uh, this node gets a value 8 since there are no nodes uh, that are present uh, to its left or to its right. We also maintain a global variable that stores the count of the nodes that are that are basically higher than the current node. So the greater nodes, greater node count, greater node count gets a value eight, and then you go back uh, to the previous parent, which is the current i in this case, and what is the value of our greater node uh, value? It's eight. So we will update it with 8. So 7 plus 8 gets, it becomes 15 and the node value also gets updated to 15. Because it will be used, this variable will be used for updating the node's value at each index. And then we go back again. And what are the nodes that are of higher value? 8, 7 and 6, 8 and 7. So we need to add 8 and 7 to the current node. Which will be which will be uh, which is cached in the g n greater node value variable, and we will add uh, 15 to to this node, and 6 plus 15 becomes 21, and this variable gets updated to 21. Now let's move towards the right, uh, the left part again, uh, since it has a left side. So we are here now. Uh, what are the nodes that are of higher value than this node? 6, 7 and 8. What is the sum of these nodes? It's 21. And so the value has to be updated. 
and we get we need to add 21 the node value becomes 26 so let's update the variable to 26 or uh, greater node greater node variable and and then let's go back in the iteration uh, we got we get four we are here and what are the nodes that are of a higher value it's six five seven and eight what is the sum of these nodes is represented by this variable 26 so we'll update this node uh, with 26 value and this gets 30 the variable node value gets updated to 30 and let's move towards the right the left part of the tree since we have done with the uh, right part of the tree and we go at the left node and here uh, we will see that it has more right child so we have to go in the right direction first so we go here and then again here so we get 3 3 doesn't have any uh, children of, in, of its own but we have to update this node with all the nodes that are of greater value which is represented by this part of the tree and the value is stored in the uh, g and c variable so let's update the nodes value with that variable and we get 33 here and the nodes value get this variable gets updated to 33 let's go back and uh, we need to update this variable similarly on similar lines so this gets 35 and nodes variable get this variable uh, the global variable also gets updated to 35 then again go back we get 1 this get variable gets updated to 36 the node value get updated to 36 and we get 0 at last so that's again uh, gets updated with 36 value and this becomes 36 the tree reversal is complete uh, it's a pretty simple straightforward way of writing the code as well you need to maintain a global variable that stores the count of all the nodes that are of higher value than the current node and uh, you need to move in a uh, reverse in order reversal fashion so let's quickly code this up. Let's define a global variable that will store the sum of all the nodes that are greater than the current node. So greater node sum equals to zero. And let's first of all check whether the root is null. In that case, let's simply return null. One of the corner cases otherwise what we need to do we need to always go in the right direction first because all the nodes on the right side will be of a greater value and once we have iterated over to the right side we will be we will update uh, the current roots value with a greater sum node a greater node sum as well as we will update the greater so, uh, sum uh, node sum value to the root dot to the updated value and then we will move in the left direction pretty straightforward few lines of code and it should be working I missed the return statement my bad it looks great and let me just submit it accepted uh, let's talk about the time complexity of this approach you are visiting all the nodes once in the tree so tc would be order of n and sc would be equal to order of log n the height of the tree thanks for watching the video and hope you enjoyed it